How long you think it was gonna take before we got here? Now you gotta prove yourself all over again. Come on. Ain't nobody coming. I've been gunning from a hundred yards, trying to hit my mark, missing every time. This will be the start. What's up, guys? Joe with MGRC.com, and today we got Brian out here. He's got his G made the Komodo, and we got the uh, Cross RC. This is the AT4 Emo or Emo AT4. Anyway, it's got a hobby wing system in there. One of the uh, Two in one systems. I'll put links down in the description below for all that kind of detail. Detail, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and, and run these little guys. So there you go. A little rusty paint job on on the old uh, Cross RC. Got me. Yeah, I'm trying I'll to see how I can. That thing, yeah, I knew that's a problem. No problem. Yeah, I didn't have a problem. Oh, well, no, that portal actually. Oh, yeah, nothing clear. That's really high shocks, too. Oh, yeah, I got them jacked up. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, it's good, man. Garage. Oh, it's definitely came out through the other side. Did you? Yo, it's a rat on my. There's a rat on my car so bad right now. Coming through. Got sleep in that tonight. <laughs> That's how we do it, bro. <laughs> Yeah. So we do have a little bit of an issue with the, the front passenger side tire. It's not turning. So after my little stunt here, uh, going through that homemade, whatever you want to call it, little fort. So you can see this wheel works, rear ones working, but this front one, no good. It's, just, it's locked up. So I'm going to tear it apart and see, what's, see what happened to it. All right, so there's part of the portal axle, just that one gear just gone. There's little pieces of it. There you go. So, killed it. So we have to see if we can get a replacement one for it. Still thinking about this one, as far as to how this washer got in, into the portal axle. It wasn't sitting in there. I was trying to check the depth of the portal axle as far as where this shaft goes this shaft goes into here right in there that's where it was sitting 
So did it just drop in there at the same time I was pulling it out? I don't know. You know, it definitely is not a flat washer at this point in time. It's got damage to it. So either it was crushed in the gear and it's crushed it then. I don't know. Because when I was, you know, obviously I was trying to get this thing upright. And this is the wheel that got the traction and then kicked the truck back up. And then, of course, it just it was just dragging at that point. So it's like, did that, how did that all happen? Like, oh, this this washer just happened to fall in here at the same time as me trying to get the traction on this same tire or this same axle, portal axle. And then it got it. It just fell in there. I don't know. It's just weird because even, like I said, the depth of this really it seems to be just enough and normally you know this is just kind of like a black metal whatever but you usually kind of see some wear marks right you can see that you can see at least where the bearing rides you can see like some wear marks on it but on the top here if it was sitting in sitting in there you can see some kind of wear marks i don't know anyway just food for thought you guys can leave comments below and let me know what you think about it like hey man well i mean we saw what you did and that makes more sense that that's shattered, but how did that washer get in there? Good question, I don't know how it was in there. Anyway, other things I wanna kinda of go over with this, I'm not using the two-speed transmission, I have it just stuck to second gear, and also unlocking and locking your differentials, I just forget that. The reason why, one, these, these things are humming, the servo as it's pulling them to be unlocked, so that way these, you know, the wheels can spin independent of each other, not being locked as turning as one, or a solid axle, we'll say, in that kind of gear or set up so because they hum and it's annoying and I don't want to burn up these servos I just disconnect it. it's not worth it and also as far as the front one anything that's under tension the servos sitting there holding something open of course they're gonna shorten now they can't just sit there and uh, stay that way especially if you run this thing like on the trail and you're out there for an hour or so you're gonna fry those servos so and now this is the kit version maybe the other one I don't know if it's I don't it's not gonna be any different you know as far as that it's gonna be having tension it's gonna be sitting there resisting to keep something open and of course it just it's just going to shorten the life of those poor little servos so to me honestly i would say um cross rc dude i'd be happy with it just being portal axles and just having the lock differentials and uh yeah the portal axles would be cool and the two-speed transmission i'd be good with it at just being you know one speed so there you go there's a little bit of input appreciate you guys watching as always i'm just bummed that this thing is broken right now and i gotta wait for the parts to actually come into uh united states so we can get this thing up and running anyway you guys take care thank you again for watching peace instincts going no looking bad like a bat with an eye patch all black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match spark one time get the whole city looking like a dark set of orange when i burn it down what it is what it do whole click in live on the talk of the town i'm a city had a mouth and it wouldn't shut up on a hunt for a crown when i get it i'ma burn it cause nobody in the game right now even deserve it what